Hi, everyone. I'm Matt Murphy, Tour Program Supervisor at Eastern State Penitentiary Historic Site. Uh, thanks for joining me on this brief tour about uh, the vanishing landscape of Eastern State. Eastern State's got to be one of the most fascinating buildings in the country. Hundreds of thousands of visitors come from all over the world each year to marvel at its imposing Gothic architecture, which we can see here, and explore its bizarre maze-like layout. The prison is a mysterious and confusing place to this day, even to historic site staff. And that's because the facilities at Eastern State changed a lot over the years as the prison modernized and as the prisoner population grew. Let's take a look. This is a model of Eastern State made in the year 1893 when the prison was about 63 years old. so almost about halfway through its lifespan. There are tons of interesting features pictured here that were not part of the original design from 1829 and that no longer exist today. We're not even sure today what some of these features are. Prison, re prison records often make references to these buildings, but sometimes the descriptions are vague or they're confusing. At the bottom of the picture, we can see the original front gate sporting a very Gothic castle-like porticos. In the 19th century, prisoners arrived at the front gate, which was the only entrance, in horse-drawn wagons. In the 20th century, they arrived in cars, buses, and vans. So a vestibule was added in 1938 to enhance security and accommodate large vehicles coming in and out of the building. Architectural historians really don't like this because it mars the old Gothic castle porticoes. Between cell blocks two and three, we can see a blacksmith shop and a stable for the prison's horses. Sub block 11 was built here just one year after the model was made in 1894 to help house the growing population. Between cell blocks three and four, we see a carpenter shop to the right and a greenhouse to the left. There seemed to always be a greenhouse somewhere in the prison. There's currently a greenhouse on the east road next to cell block two. The round building between cell blocks four and five was the pump house, which was used for drawing water from a reservoir for the prison's plumbing system. Eastern State was the first public building in the United States to have indoor heating, running water, and flush toilets. That's from day one, 1829. A kitchen building and storehouse were built on top of the structure in 1903. Between cell block six and seven, we see an unidentified diamond-shaped feature. It could be a recreation area, a garden, or a walking path. Cell block 12 was built on top of it in the year 1911. These are just a few of the many buildings that have vanished from Eastern State's facility. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Uh, this map shows the Eastern State plant today. It's all gone. So if you wanna learn more about how Eastern State changed over time, you can go to easternstate.org and explore the research section of the site. Thanks for joining. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at easternstate.org. Have a good one.